Hello everyone, it's Shane Kanto, your Wasteland reviewer, and I'm here to review The Last Black Man in San Francisco. And I remember seeing the trailer for this and being awestruck by how beautiful this film looked. The trailer, the music, and I was really waiting for an incredible experiential film. And obviously I wasn't quite sure what to get out of it from like a pop perspective and characters, because the trailer doesn't really delve deep into that, but you know you're going to be immersed. And Joe Talbot and the cinematography, it is so beautiful. This film is absolutely gorgeous. You, and like, this is one of those films where I like to say it's like, I could cut out frames from this film and I'll put them up as artwork because that's how beautiful this film is. And they... And Talbot creates such an interesting environment and atmosphere in this film where on some level it feels so outworldly, otherworldly, and you're just sitting there in awe of how gorgeous and how strange and quirky and odd this film is. And it really is. This is a potentially alienating film because it creates such an environment but for myself as somebody that really delves deep into film as this escapism, this film really captures this world, this place. And it's all through the eyes of Jimmy and Montgomery, who are played by Jimmy Fails and Jonathan Majors, who honestly are both absolutely fantastic in this film. Jimmy Fails plays such perfect embodiment of this main character and you see the city of San Francisco through his eyes and this romance that he has of this home that his grandfather made and what that can do to somebody of romanticizing something so much that it dictates your life and the impact that can have and this film really delves deep into that deep. This is a really deep film and looks at things in such interesting ways and even from it's like it pulls no punches. You see this gorgeous place and all the disgusting underbelly of it from the opening shot of some man just screaming about this disgusting cesspool of water around and people getting thrown out of their homes and the homeless and the gangs and everything but then these unbelievably gorgeous old homes that are just created everywhere and from strange things of like people that are strung out chasing after people and this slow motion just you're just sucked into this film and Jonathan Majors playing Montgomery is such an odd character and he might be on the spectrum in some shape or form and just how he portrays himself and how he feels and how he shows his emotions and this relationship between these two characters like Danny Glover is super endearing that my favorite moments of this film is when our two main characters are just sitting down with him watching a film and it's just so beautiful it's such a great human moment and there's one particular line that I feel like really captures this film, and it's... You cannot hate it if you don't love it. And that says so much about so many things, and it's like... Like, I love my college that I work at. And I went there for school, undergrad, and graduate, and I stayed, and I keep working there. And obviously there's things that I complain about. But the thing is, I appreciate it and love it so deeply that I can step back and realize and appreciate the flaws that it has. And I know people that are just like, I hated it, blah, 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 blah. It's just like, but you don't, you blind yourself to all value of it. You have to fully immerse yourself in something to really appreciate it and to critique it. And... It's interesting because that's kind of commentary on film, too. It's like you can rip to shred something, but if you don't appreciate really what goes into it and really love film, to be able to see the flaws in a film. And this film says so much in so many different ways. Honestly, my biggest 
negative of this film was like there's parts where it really dragged for me and some of the pacing but the thing is this film is very methodical and it is alienating the tone the atmosphere of this is could be potentially off-putting and I don't really see this as something that mainstream audiences are gonna love but if you take the time and really sink into it and really feel all the symbolism the beauty of it and where this story goes where these characters go and what really shapes them this is a fully amazingly rewarding experience and this cinephile written all over it so if you are a cinephile like me and want to go check out an amazingly immersive film go check out the last black man in san francisco find it whether it's at amc with their new artisan film tag thing or go to an indie f a theater and go check this out it's worth your time if you're big into film this is a must see those are my thoughts subscribe comment below and thank you as always for supporting your Wasteland Reviewer.